All right, guys, so you can't get through a development uh, series unless you actually talk about Freud, right? Now, I'm not here to push you into the Freud camp of, of all the developmental theories and such, but I'm here to make sure that if you get any questions on the step exams or whatever exam you're taking about Freud, there's a certain amount of terms that you got to know, okay? If you know these terms, uh, you'll do well. You'll answer pretty much all the questions that they're going to they're going to get you at this level of understanding. So, and really those terms are going to be the id, ego, superego, neuroses, and, and the philic stage, okay? So before we answer this specific question, and what I'll do, just so you know, is all these answer choices, they will be reinforced uh, by the short videos. So make sure that you you go and, and get the developmental theory uh, short playlist and then just reinforce these over and over so you don't have to keep relearning it, okay? So... This question reads, according to Freud's uh, developmental theory, uh, the last structure to develop, which incorporates the morals and values of society, is which of the following? Is it the id, the ego, the superego, the neuroses, or the uh, phallic stage? So let's take a step back and actually learn about what, what, <clears throat> what Freud kind of said. Now, he originally says that the human, <coughs> excuse me, the human psyche has three components, okay? And then we'll learn those real quick. And then we'll talk about the very briefly the five stages of uh, psychosexual development. And you really don't have to, you don't have to really know all five. I mean, a couple of them are just kind of self-explanatory, but there's one stage that you really got to know that I, I would say, when in doubt, you're going to go with this. Um, and then when you're stuck in any of these stages, what's what occurs that leads to problems as an adult? And if you know that, you pretty much know all the stuff with uh, getting you through an exam, uh, talking about Freud's stuff, all right? So <clears throat> the human psyche has three components. We know it as the id, okay? Now the id, this is going to be the unconscious. It's, and this is mainly at, you know, from birth. It develops at birth. It's our desires. It's our impulses. And it seeks pleasure, you know, it seeks pleasure and gratification, right? That's the, that's the whole deal with the id. From that, we develop the ego. Now, this develops from our desires to satisfy the id, okay? But the ego, it actually, it, it runs or it operates on this reality principle, okay? And that's another kind of key term. I should have put that in there, actually, as one of the answer choices. <clears throat> the ego develop, is, runs on the reality principle, and that just basically says, look, I got to compromise between what I want and what the world will give me, okay? Between what I want, the id, right? Your, your desires to seek pleasure and basically what the world can give me. That's the reality principle. That's what your ego kind of, you know, has this whole conflict in between about kind of, I don't want to say what it can get away with, but what it can achieve. So again, there's three human uh, components of the, to the human psyche, according to Freud. We got the id, it's from birth, it's our unconscious, it's our pleasure, it's our gratification. <clears throat> we got the, from that, we develop the ego. And that says, okay, uh, I want to kind of satisfy you, Mr. Id, but I also got society out there, and so there's a reality principle I got to work within. So from this, we will develop the superego. Now, the superego super that we have, this basically judges us, Okay. It judges what we should do morally, okay? What we should do morally uh, rewards us, you know, if we, and if we do the right thing, our secret ego says we have pride in what we do. If we, you know, feel like we did the wrong thing, this is where we get shame. So the human psyche, according to Freud, has the id, pleasure, great uh, gratification, unconscious. The ego develops from our attempts to satisfy the id, operates on the reality principle, it's a compromise between what the id wants and the outside world can give. And then we, then from that, we derive the superego. This judges what we should do morally or not do. It rewards us. We get pride or shame uh, if we don't, you know, kind of uh, go by our value system. So there it is, the id, the ego, and the superego. And again, this is our uh, morals and values, okay? Morals and values. Now, <clears throat> Freud also said, "Look, there's five stages of psycho uh, so, you know, psychosexual development. We got the uh, oral phase, right? At birth, right? The, the 
you know, if it's breastfeeding, every, the kid wants to do everything with their mouth, okay? So if you're successful during this phase and, you know, you have a, a good caregiver, da-da-da-da-da, <clears throat> you developed trust, okay? And then the next stage, before I get back into what happens if you, if you do something wrong or you don't quite get through these stages, what happens? So we have the oral stage, and then that's basically from, you know, zero to one. We have the anal phase, right? Because now the kids, uh, you're, you're in this two to three years of age. Uh, you're, you're trying to potty train, control the bowel and bladder. That's the, that's the anal phase, right? So far, pretty self-explanatory. The third phase is going to be the phallic, okay? This is the one I want you to really kind of focus in on because the phallic stage, you know, they're, you know Freud said, look, there's like an erogenous, uh, I hate to use that word, but anyways, there's some type of sexual... Le, le, as they say, libid, libidinal uh, desire. In here, it's with the mouth. Here, it's the uh, anus. In the phallic stage, it's in the uh, genitals. And this is the stage where you get the Oedipus uh, complex, right? That there's some type of the boys see their father as a rival for their mom. Uh, that you know, that's the Oedipus complex. That's why I want you to know this one because there could be a question about Oedip Oedipus complex, and you better jump on Freud's phallic stage. <clears throat> but again, uh, in the oral stage, it's the mouth. Anal stage, it's the anus. Phallic stage, it's the genitals. And this is roughly three to six years of age. And then we go into the latency uh, stage. Now this is where the the, the sexual urges are suppressed, so there is no uh, mouth, anus, or genitals, right? And this is where kids kind of, they tend to, to kind of hang out with the same-sex uh, partner, and this is where they can develop, re, uh, you know, meaningful relationships and, and stuff that they'll carry into adulthood. And then the fifth stage, the last stage, is back to the uh, genitals, so it's going to be the genital stage, and this is where uh, the sexual urges are reawakened to the opposite sex, Okay. And that's the final stage in Freud's thing. So obviously several of these are self-explanatory, oral, anal, but when in doubt, you're going to jump all over the phallic. Now, Freud says, look, if you don't get through this stuff, if you don't get through these stages healthy, you can become fixated, right? There's a fixation that, that could occur within these. Like <clears throat> if you're stuck in the uh, oral phase, this could lead to addictions such as, you know, uh, alcohol, smoking, overeating, nail biting, stuff to do with things that you're going to put in your mouth, okay? And then the anal phase, if you're stuck in this one, the, the, if you don't get the, uh, the satisfaction of our accomplishment of, you know, bowel and bladder control, da-da-da-da-da, that you could have, uh, you know, you could get fixated and you'll carry into, this is where the obsessions with perfection or the opposite of perfection where you're just uh, disorganized. So perfection or disorganization in the anal phase. The uh, phallic phase, again, it's the genitals. So if, you're, if you don't progress through this one uh, smoothly, uh, there's issues in this. This could lead to you know, sexual uh, deviancy is, is what he kind of called it. Uh, or you have a weak sexual identity. And of course, latency, if you're fixated in this stage or stuck uh, you have difficulty forming relationships uh, as an adult. Okay? So he says, look, you could be fixated in these stages, and then when you're fixated, this could lead to what? The key word is with, with old Freud, this could lead to neuroses. Or neurosis or neuroses, sometimes you see with an E, uh, kind of a plural form per se. So neurosis, all right? So you have the five stages of psychosexual development, oral, anal, phallic, latency, genital. You could be stuck in these stages, which, lead, which you are fixated, which could lead to neuroses. The one I want you to know is the phallic stage, because this is the one associated with the Oedipus complex. For, but you had to go back and say, well, Freud said there's three components to the human psyche. The id, which is your unconscious, seeks gratification, pleasure. The ego, which operates on the reality principle, meaning, okay, this is more conscious uh, choice. And then you have the superego, which incorporates morals and values of our society, and if you do good, you get pride. If you do bad, you have the shame. Okay? So back to our original question. It says, according to Freud's developmental theory, the last structure to develop, which incorporates the morals and values of society, is which the following? Well, it's developmental theory. It didn't say psychosexual development, or we would have been, probably been over here somewhere. Uh, but it, his developmental theory, the human, the, the 
uh, human psyche has three components. The last to develop that incorporates morals and values is going to be our superego. If it said unconscious first, we would have went id. If it would have said reality principle, I would have went with something with the ego. Neuroses are what's developed if we get fixated in any of the site or stuck in any of the psychosexual developmental stages. And then if you're going to memorize one stage that's kind of out of context that you, it's hard to memorize, you're going to say phallic because three to six years of age, but that's the one where they have Oedipus complex, uh, sexual uh, deviancy. So guys, a way to reinforce all these is, again, I'll put all these into little short videos. I want you to just know those in repetition, 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 but use this video as kind of a guide or a, or a source just to understand uh, Freud stuff, okay? Hope it was helpful, guys.